Clark's Solar Hot Water Systems, we like to do a routine checkup every four to five years. Uh, this system was installed in 2008, so we're expecting to replace the glycol, possibly the expansion tank, and we'll get more into that in a minute. Um, so when we do these routine checkups, one of the first things we want to look for, um, obviously, is any kinds of uh, signs of corrosion or weeping or dripping or leaking, anything like that. So I pulled a sample of the glycol and used a pH test strip and the refractometer to see what the condition was of the glycol. Uh, this glycol uh, measured at positive 10 degrees instead of negative 10 degrees where we would like our glycol to be set at. We set our glycol at negative 10 degrees due to our climate. At negative 10 degrees, the water that's mixed with the glycol will start to phase change from a viscous fluid to something a little bit more slushier uh, until the temperature continues to drop and drop until eventually it will freeze at like negative 40 or negative 50. We use an overheat protection design called Steamback. What we learned is with a larger expansion tank, when these systems do overheat, there's less weepage and leaking at the pump station. Another important task for the routine checkup is pulling and inspecting the sacrificial anode rod. So like most steel uh, enamel line storage tanks, they have a sacrificial anode rod. Uh, that rod lives inside the tank and deteriorates over time, protecting the walls of the tank. Uh, the great thing about the Steve Electron tank is that they actually have a little indicator on top. This sticker represents the anode indicator. When the indicator is white, it means there's still an anode left in the tank. When it's red, it means the anode is completely eaten away and needs to be replaced. If you have one of our solar hot water systems and would like a routine checkup, visit our website, revisionenergy.com.